our next question is can you offer some strategies to stop rumination yeah i mean i feel like I, I, this is the same answer to everything is uh is asking what's useful about rumination <laughs> like what's how how because i mean i think part of it is is there's so much judgment i do too i i get funked out i get into a place of uh doom and gloom uh it's not going to work uh, i mean if you're an entrepreneur long enough you know the feeling it's it's just like staring uh abyss in the face and you know thinking okay i'm looking at this <laughs> You gotta keep moving. You gotta keep moving. I have a lot to say on this, Raj, but I, I'm kind of curious. I, I, I feel like I, I feel like I want you to go first on this. Like, what's your what are your thoughts on this one? I was curious about. I like to, as you said, asking yourself the question of. I mean, I like to ask what the benefit of the rumination is or why is this showing up? And I think for me, when I was thinking about this question, it's when I get into my own head or I'm not fully really acknowledging where I'm at or what I've achieved. Because this was showing up for me at the beginning of this week. Had a bit of time out and got caught up with myself of oh gosh i've fallen behind or you know what do i need to catch up with this with this week or trying to push myself towards a specific goal this is really also looking at what i learned from last year and what i could put into practice this year i think the doer and the achiever in me or the, the society of kind of how do we quickly keep moving forward? Sometimes there's this piece around the slim fast approach as well. So I have to remind myself around patience and the tortoise and the hare and how kind of slow and steady and continuous pieces actually lead to bigger progress. I think sometimes we can get into a place, I know I can get into a place where I expect results really quick as well. Mm-hmm. Because we have everything at our fingertips, don't we? We can just press a button and get answers with things. We can Google and get an answer with something. You know, if our Wi-Fi goes off for a few seconds, we all start to panic, don't we? We're like, oh my gosh, the Wi-Fi is down, rather than actually being grateful for the fact that we have all of this technology. I know, right? If I, you say that, I'm like, wait a second, I have three backups, so I'm <laughs> still good. All right. <laughs> Uh, there have been a couple of times when it's been a while since I've ruminated and haven't been able to get unhooked. Uh, it's hard. And there's no way. Or, I mean, it's just it can be it can be brutal, um, especially when it's something that matters a lot. And I think I found myself uh, trying to rehearse like all the things I could say or do or move in different directions. And um, the the things I have found help the most in times when I need to get out of rumination or when there have just been some really heavy things like heavy lifts required that can't be done in a day or even a week, but take maybe say a month or even a, even three months or, you know, a year, uh, having a crystal clear mission that's empathetic is priceless. It provides an escape where you can, you can, go it's an escape from it being about you and about what what your selves need it can be more about what how can how can i be useful as an instrument to achieve this mission for the benefit of others that's a big question that question helps and I'm thinking of a couple experiences, even this week, and it's only a day and a half old. Um, there have been a couple things that have come up where I have felt the 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 slight tug to like the slight tug into drama or the slight tug into conflict, and I could have gone there very very easily, no question. Uh, and I play a game in my head 
where I think of um, we talk about gamification, like multiverse. Maybe I can get myself like 500 points or whatever. Like you get 500 life points for achieving this. Uh, but it's it's similar to uh, it, it's similar kind of feel to uh, if I can move through this challenge elegantly and give it as little energy as necessary, but still accomplish what I need to accomplish. It's almost like I feel like I can uh, achieve a life goal or it's like achieving a life milestone that I passed the test. I passed the test. And the, the, uh, the reward of passing these kinds of tests is you get to have more time and energy and space in your life. If you don't pass this test, yeah, then I'm going to spend hours thinking about what I should say, not say, how do I play this, not play this. Um, and what I have, what I find I have to let go of most often is my own feeling of that initial ouch or that initial, I don't like that. That's not nice. Or, uh, that, Ooh, like they shouldn't have done that. Um, that, you know what I mean? That, that edge that I, I feel like a part of me wants to edge back. Um, Yeah, and I think each of us has our own calibration. Uh, Some people might need to push back more. Some people might need to push back less. Um, But life has a way of of showing us very clearly the the challenges we have. And that's, yeah, I think rumination is one of those things. And if you're in it, I, I empathize with you. It's very, very hard. It's super hard. I've been there. Sometimes you just need a hug. Yeah, that's what I have to say about that. So John, it sounded like you were talking about the motivation model in a sense. You know, you said for you, you look Mm -hmm. at motivation in terms of impact on others. Right. So would that be a model that you would suggest somebody could have a look at, see where their motivation is at? Yeah, I mean, there was some, there have been some stuff that's happened. I mean, you look at the pandemic and everything. I mean, we 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 went through some some challenges in it, and I was I was uh, I was amazed at how having uh, you know being engaged in coaching and trying to really move the ball forward, how it felt like it provided a floor of emotion that it was hard to dip below that floor because it's easy to come back to of what I mean by that. It's like, if it, it felt like there was a, a resting point where, um, I would think, well, this should affect me more. Like this should be something that I really like gets me, but just doesn't. Uh, and that that's, that's growth. I mean, it's hard to explain it. I, I don't know how, it's like it's like um it's almost like an assessment of your past self but then your future self or current self doesn't feel it so it's 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 oddly confusing like it's like a mo- it's like emotional confusion or a, su- a surprise it's surprising somehow where yeah that would get me but it just doesn't now um yeah i i feel like we get to have that like with with personal and professional growth i feel like the like the width of us like the the width of us and depth like the width and depth increase to a point where you have different strategies to deal with different challenges and then you get to choose okay so which part of me now wants to deal with this challenge uh yeah yeah i haven't put it together quite like that but that's exactly what it feels like where it feels like there there's just you just have more Mm, flexibility to deal with different things coming at you and I'm finding now it's easier to just go right in and say nope not that and it goes away and I don't have to think about it anymore (laughs) you know (laughs) it makes me think of the model that you talked about last year as well you know kind Mm. of being in the mud like Mm. we might have gone through the mud and then we found the gems that's it yep 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 I love it. The gem, the muck, the plan. Absolutely. Yes, yes. Because every any type of feedback we get, there's usually a bit of, there's a gem in it. Even if it's completely off base, the gem might be, well, why am I even in a place that I hear such completely off base feedback? Right. 
uh, that might be the gem. The muck, every every bit of feedback has some muck too, which is what needs to be wiped away. It can be very, it could be a light dusting, uh, but you know, like when you get a crystal or you get uh, a new mug or you get like a new computer, you know, you give it a little bit of a, you make it your own, you wipe it down, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, it feels like that, like any, every bit of feedback, we wipe it down. We try to figure out, oh, is this gonna be useful for us? And then the key is this, the key is this. Does the feedback you're getting or the rumination or anything else, does it alter a plan? Or can you create a plan? If the answer is no, then you need to talk to a coach. Yeah. If the answer is yes, then yeah, then you need to talk to a coach too and may clarify that plan. But if you're at least, it's, it's useful now. If the plan is the yes or no, that, that you're, if you're asking yourself, am I using this? Uh, if you have a plan, the answer is yes. If you don't have a plan, then the answer is no. Go make one. Go make one. Yeah. And look for the gems. Mm -hmm. I guess as we've got a minute left or so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's making me think of those gems. I was I was in a bit of muck yesterday. I think that happens in business as well, doesn't it? Where you think a contract or a plan's gonna go a certain way, you even have a verbal agreement and then things change or budgets change. Mm. Mm. And it's being able to at that point think about well what are the gems from sat in the muck for a bit yesterday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I found some gems this morning though. It can, it's, I mean, it's the, it's the cost of doing business. I mean, that's what I often think. I think, you know, I just got an email today. It just was kind of not the nicest. I'm like, it wasn't a, it wasn't a participant or anything. It wasn't a trainer. It, it was a, a tangent parallel thing. And it was just slight. And I thought, oh, ooh, I could get my goat. That could really get me. But I'm choosing not to. Okay, moving on. I have other things I got to get to. And it's the, those, are, those are like on the light, you know, those are like the tiny ends. But I feel like those are like little warm-ups to, okay, something big. Like, you know, uh, something that is not light or is not light in any way uh, that can cut to the core and be something that, yeah, like up all night thinking about stuff, you know, up, could be up for a week, month, like staring at things that are really hard to look at. Oh gosh, it's. Oh, I I don't, I, I do not treat it lightly. It's something that, um. I I've I've coached I've been coached around things I've coached others around it. Talking it out helps, so much. It, I, I, it's not it can might not always be easy, but really working with a coach is so so useful. And if you if you're ruminating and you aren't working with a coach, that would be the very that that just just do that one thing. Yeah, do that one thing. Even that one thing changes the plan. Mm 